Now that the Dobsonian base is completely assembled, we can assemble the telescope by placing the tube onto the base and installing the correct tension system. To position the tube onto the base, grasp both side altitude bearings of the tube and slide into place in the cradle of the base. You'll notice that the tube can move freely because the correct tension system has not been installed and the tube is not balanced without an eyepiece and finder scope installed. Rotate the telescope base around and gently determine where the tube contacts the front brace board of the Dobsonian base. You'll want to position the adhesive backed plastic bumper right in that spot so that you can avoid the tube bumping into the front brace and possibly damaging the telescope. To install the correct tension system onto the telescope, first take a long black Phillips head screw and take one of the plastic bushings. Install onto the screw with the narrow end of the bushing positioned towards the screw head. Then take a black 3 8 inch washer and put onto the screw. Thread the entire assembly into the threaded insert on the base assembly. Tighten in place using a Phillips screwdriver. Repeat this process for the other side of the base. Next we take a plastic tip to screw Insert a black bushing so the narrow end is closest to the plastic tip and place a spring over the entire assembly so that the spring coil rests in the narrow spot of the spacing. Thread this entire assembly into the threaded acceptor on the altitude bearing. Attach a nylon pull loop into the open end of the spring by pulling the loop through and then through itself. Repeat this process for the other side of the base. Complete tube attachment by grasping the pull loop, pulling the spring down so that the open end goes over the Phillips head screw and seats in the narrow portion of the plastic spacer. Repeat this process for the other side. Let's complete assembly of the XT8 Classic Dobsonian by installing the Easy Finder 2 reflex sight and the 25mm Plossel eyepiece. To install the Easy Finder, the dovetail finder scope base, loosen the installed thumb screw. Take the Easy Finder with its dovetail bracket and insert into the dovetail base. Tighten the thumb screw down to secure into place. You can also remove this plastic slip from the Easy Finder to engage the battery. Next, We'll take the included 25 millimeter Plossel eyepiece, remove the dust caps, and loosen this thumb screw on the focuser to remove the dust cap. Take the silver inch and a quarter end of the eyepiece and insert it into the focuser. Tighten in place with the thumb screw. Your XT8 is now fully assembled. A very popular and useful add-on accessory for Orion Dobsonians and all telescopes is what we call an Orion moon filter. A moon filter cuts down on the amount of glare from the moon and allowing you to view it in higher contrast and with better results. In order to attach a moon filter, you would take the eyepiece out of the focuser and take the moon filter here and thread it onto the end of the eyepiece that is inserted into the focuser barrel. Once the moon filter is installed, install the eyepiece as you normally would, locking down with the thumb screw. All of your views will now pass through the moon filter and your views of the moon will be of improved contrast. To transport the X-T8 outside into the backyard for a quick observing session, you can use the built-in handle. Simply position the tube so it's resting against the rubber bumper, grasp the handle, and while gently lifting the entire assembly, you can move on to the backyard. To transport the X-T8 to a more remote viewing location, we recommend detaching the tube from the base assembly for safer transport. 
To make the transport even more safe, we recommend using an Orion padded telescope case for the tube section of the Dobsonian. In order to put the tube into the padded case, you will first want to disengage the correct tension springs from either side of the telescope base. Once the springs have been detached, you'll want to carefully remove the finder scope, and we've already moved, removed the eyepiece from the focuser here. You will want to do that for extended transport. Gently grab the telescope tube and lift it up and out of the base, and insert into its padded case. Secure with the zipper closure, and you're ready for transport to a dark sky site.